In the city of Detroit, nearly 200 bars and restaurants applied for outdoor seating so they could earn some kind of revenue. Those permits, though, expire in one week. Yeah, so what now? Well, as Nick Monticelli reports, the city of Detroit is allowing winter outdoor seating, but will anybody show up for it? I think people will show up. A lot of people want to be out and they don't want to be in the house. Derek and LaDonna Reynolds recently opened Good Times on the Avenue on Livernoy in Detroit and have done their best to keep afloat during this pandemic. Outdoor summer dining helped immensely, but will winter? This morning, the city of Detroit announced an outdoor dining program. The permits that allowed bars and restaurants to operate outside in the summer expire in one week. There are some new rules this time around. Sidewalks, on-street parking, and private parking lots can be used. But tents can also have only one side down. Also, igloo-style seating is allowed, but only one household at a time. And once that socialized group le left, the igloo would then be sanitized, um, all of the surfaces, and um, we would ask that every business make sure that there is limited um, staff going in and out of those igloos as well. So it's a great program, and the city of Detroit certainly is trying. And here they're going to put igloos and tents in the whole nine yards, but a tent can only go so far with only one side on it. Heaters can only do so much. So will people actually come and spend their money? Well, good times, they're certainly hoping so, considering how much they have to invest. It's over $15 to $20,000 just to do outdoor winter dining. And I have to come from somewhere. We don't want to lose our business. <laughs> exactly. So we got to give it a shot. Yeah, we got to give it a shot. See what happens. In Detroit, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. All right, Nick, again, the current permits expire on November 30th. Business owners do have to get a new permit before operating anything outside. Customers will be allowed to use the bathrooms, but they will have to wear a mask.